Right, this video is going to show us how to find the difference between two times and minutes in Google Sheets. All right, we will start looking at some examples of dates. And before we get into it, a link to this worksheet will be in the description of this video. You'll go to the sheetshelp.com page that talks about this and there'll be a link to the sheet in there. But the first step when you're working with times is to make sure you have valid times in your spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet has several examples of invalid dates and times. So use this as a reference to try to figure out how to get them right. But let's talk about the way that we can do it. So we'll scroll down a little bit more and I have a series of valid time formats here. One of the ways to find these examples is other than just following along in this spreadsheet, like we had mentioned, is good to go to format number. And then when you say custom date and time, all of these listed here are formats that will work too. So if you type it in looking like this, they'll work. Just remember to use one that combines the day and the time. We'll close this. I said these are three valid dates, but let's be sure that that's true. So in, in this case, cell E21, we will type an equal sign, which tells Google Sheets you're ready to use a formula. And we will use the is date formula. Use an opening parentheses and select D21, which is where the date is that I'm trying to check. Close that off and it's true. So this function returns either true or false. A true means it's a date and all three of these are good. So now that you can check to see if your date times are valid, let's go down and talk about how to do this once you have the valid dates and times. So we'll do two examples here. They are the exact same starting time and ending time. But if you look closely, these are on two different days. So it has to designate the day and the time. They both do that. And we'll come down here and the core of what we want to do is start with the ending time, subtract the beginning time, right? But when we do this, we get 0.93. And the interpretation of that is that it's actually 93 one hundredths of a day. If that's good enough for you, then that's fine right there. But what this tutorial is trying to do is show that time in minutes. So a way to do that is to take that result. We're going to ensure the order of operations works here. So we'll do the division first, but then we will multiply that result by 24 hours in a day in 60 minutes in an hour. And that gives us 1,342 minutes which is the number of minutes between these two dates. So that's the first way to do it and that works. The second way to do it is with the text function. And this is if you want to output a more stylized result. So let's go grab that from the finished example that we have. We'll copy and paste it and we'll talk about it. It's a little bit tricky to remember off the top of my head. So this is a more efficient way to do it. We'll update the references. So we are in row 40 right now. And what this formula is doing is first it's doing the subtraction and coming up with that result that we found a minute ago. And then it's saying format that as minutes. So that's what a capital M is in this case. And the brackets around it tell Google Sheets that this is a duration, not a point in time. So it can go over 59 minutes. And then we join it together with the text string of space minutes and you just do that with an ampersand. That's a operator that's a shortcut for the concatenate function. So that takes the result, 1,342, adds space minutes, and watch out though, because that will give you the right result. So we'll expand this a little bit, but that's no longer a number. So if you're going to use that in subsequent functions, it won't work very well. So let's uh, check that. Let's say is number, we'll look at it, it's going to say false for that string. But if you go up to the previous example that we did, it's true. So just be aware of that it may come up later. So those are two functions that will give you the result. And there is another way to do this that's easier if you don't like using functions. Let's go over and we'll start the time diff add-on. So this is a paid add-on with a trial period that we have uh, linked in the description. It's from sheetshelp.com. 
created by yours truly for situations like this. Let's say we could do just minutes, but let's say we want this in hours and minutes. Let's give time diff the range with the starting and ending times. And we said hours and minutes. We'll say calculate active range. Watch this cell update. Need to make that a little bit wider. 22 hours and 22 minutes. Use whichever one works best for you. I'm Adam Steinfurth. Thanks for watching.